How difficult is it for an undersized guard to attack the paint on the baseline when the help is coming to block the lane? Well, it can be really tough, but if you have studied players like Tony Parker, you've probably been amazed by his unbelievable ability to keep his dribbling alive and hit from any tiny space left uncovered. We'll show you today how we train the baseline penetration when the big defender switches inside the paint and tries to contain you. Let's see how it works. We are Mihai Dumitrescu, IPT Certified Skill Enhancement Trainer, Highest Level Professional Team Coach, and Peter Peric First Tier International Professional Player in Croatia, Germany, and Slovakia, and we welcome you to the Game Enhancement section. Whenever we train game situations, we have two or three different approaches for the same scenario. First, we do it without defense, so the player can understand what the defense can do, and also take game-related finishes. When all is set in the player's mind, we use defense to the extent where we force the reads and reactions, and later on, we can add a full one-to-one -one scenery, which is totally unpredictable and pushes to maximum the player's reactive capacity. In today's situation, we'll show the first two parts, and then you can add full one-to-one -one coverage as the last step in your preparation. So, the player penetrates baseline, and we suppose that the big guard, number four or five, will switch at the line of the paint, so he cannot score. The whole idea is that only elite guards have been taught or have developed the ability to keep the ball alive in this situation. Most of them will pick up the ball and will try to pass outside, sometimes with a good result, most of the time with no relevance. But, if you are watching this video, you probably want to become a superstar, so picking up is not for you. The defender will always release the guard on the other side of the paint, as there is no threat anymore for the basket, and therefore for a split second, some possibilities will open up. The first option available, and the most powerful, will be to attack the middle of the paint with a swing step, as for the defender, once he released you, it will be very difficult to turn around in your pursuit. So, a hook or a pro hop floater, as well as a jump stop will be opportune, but you can think by yourself to add more finishes. Then we usually train the uphill elbow turnaround fadeaway speed stop or jump stop, as this spot on the floor is most of the time open, as on the strong side, all the defenders will try to stay a little bit closer to their players. Same as before, if the elbow is not open, somewhere around the free throws line will be empty, so we try to finalize with the same jump stop fadeaway. Please note that you will have a lot of misses on the left side of the floor if you are a righty, and vice versa, as squaring in the air is not an easy task. You may want to look at this video up here, in our advanced shooting section, where we've developed this subject more. For the second part of the exercise, I'll be the defender, and I will carry a cone in my inside hand. As soon as Pero, the player here, will leave the paint, we've set the following rules. If I don't release the cone at all, he'll need to attack the middle of the paint with the swing step, otherwise, if I slide the cone, he needs to go uphill, straight to it, and take the shot from that spot. If there are any interruptions during the decisional process, there can be a skills deficiency, where the player doesn't know the possible reads, a case in which you should go back to the first option for more training. Why the cone slide represents? Well, it shows the player the open spot that he should look for during the game, and in time with practice, and with this mindset, he will discover any uncovered spaces in the defense. It is a very demanding physical exercise, and as time goes by, you'll probably start to miss more shots, but if you keep going, and come back to it, after a while you'll start to be consistent. Are you willing to try this one? I guess you are, as keeping the dribbling alive is an ability that not too many gained in their career, and if you learn how to attack out of it, the result will be astonishing. Leave us a comment and tell us how it was, and if you need any help, please write to us, and we'll be glad to help you with anything. Hope you've enjoyed this one, and maybe you want to take a look at those up here too. Don't forget to subscribe, and hit the notification bell, so you'll not miss anything.